So it was really a process that began because of a family's wish to donate. I also understood how severe Michael's head trauma was at this point. He would never open his eyes. Um, he would never walk, that he was not going to get up and get out of that bed and come home with us. But I knew in looking at him, here's this perfectly healthy 14-year-old boy where the, he only has a bandage on his head and there was nothing else wrong with him. And I, I knew in my heart that if the only thing Michael needed at that point to come home was a kidney, that I would expect one to be there. Experience where a family was very adamant about organ donation, but also adamant that they really wanted to be with their son when he had his cardiac death. Um, we worked, the ICU staff worked very, very closely with the organ procurement agency, as well as with the operating room staff. To tell you the truth, the operating room initially was very resistant. Um, however, in working with the organ procurement uh, uh, coordinator, the operating room staff came up, met with the organ procurement um, coordinator, and to use, to use a, a term, had the nurse manager had an epiphany as to how beneficial this would be. She said, I all of a sudden realized it's not about me, but about the patient and his family. I, I think for hospital staff or people that are uncomfortable with non-heart beating donation, it's about what you're doing for that patient and what you're doing for that family. And you, as a medical care provider, whether you're a nurse, a tech, or a doctor, is putting the patients and the patient's family wishes and needs above your own. Michael's liver had been transplanted and that it was a perfect match and that the liver recipient was awake and doing very, very well. And that was just the best news to know that our decision had worked and it had saved someone's life. And of all the decisions that we made that long and trying weekend, saying yes to organ donation was the easiest decision to make. It was like, yes, because if the shoe was on the other foot, somebody else saying yes could be saving my son.